Hi, welcome back to My Transgender Nation. And uh, today, I thought I'd have a conversation about my experience with dating as a transgender woman. So I want, this is just what I've come across. I am not speaking for anyone else but myself. I just want you to uh, see what I've come across. So <clears throat> let's start off by just sort of recapping how I got to where I am. Um, I'm, I'm 64 years old. I started this transition when I was 57. Uh, prior to that, I was married for the better part of 25 years and then dated uh, for about another two years. My entire life, I have always been into women, um, have no interest in dating men whatsoever. Never did, never will. <laughs> so um, I'm, I'm all about the females for sure. So um, I knew that, you know, initially when I started this process, that it was going to be very different when I got to a point where I was willing to and wanted to date again. Um, but to be honest, I didn't think it was going to end up the way it has for me. <clears throat> and I'm not, this is not a complaint session whatsoever. I'm just describing for you what my experience has been like. So um, it, the first several years of my transition, it was really all about just making the transition. Um, I had a bunch of surgeries and... Um, I had to keep recovering one after the other. And so dating was not really a high priority when I first started transitioning. Plus, when I first started, to be honest, I kind of looked like a man in a dress. And I knew nobody was going to want to date me at that point. And I was okay with that. I, I had no problem with it because I really just wanted to get to where I wanted to go. And once I got to a place where I felt comfortable... I decided to um, put myself back out there in the dating world, if you will. So um, the first thing I did was try one or two dating sites. And I, I, the only thing I found that I had really good luck with were the, were the scammers. And I had an unbelievable number of scammers. Um, so I tried more dating sites and different kinds of dating sites. And I got to a point at one time, I had 12 dating sites all going at the same time. And um, during that period of using the dating sites, I did find uh, one woman who um, I started dating. And we dated for several months. And it was going really, really well. And then she decided she just didn't want to do it anymore. And she, she, she ended the, the relationship. And I was devastated when that happened. And that took me a while to recover from. And after that, I did a couple of like one, you know, like in uh, first dates, if you will. And none of those seemed to go very well and really weren't the right people for me anyway. So now it's it's been how many years? It's been seven years since I started this transition. And at this point, I have turned off all of my dating sites. I'm not using any dating sites whatsoever. Um, I spend a lot of energy working on my transgender nation, which this video is a part of. Uh, and... Um, I have a, a full-time job uh, of another business that I own in the technology world. So that keeps me very busy as well. So between the two of those, I'm quite busy. I have a lot of local friends that I spend time with, none of which um, are LGBTQ members. They're all heterosexuals, but they embrace me and they like me and I convinced them to go dancing on Friday nights and listen to live music, which is one of my passions. <clears throat> so I do that. And I am not honestly spending any energy at this point on dating. As much as I want to date, as much as I would love to find a partner, I'm not putting energy into it. I'm not going to put bad energy into it for sure. So I'm 
fairly convinced that the right person will come along a different way rather than trying to force it. And that's the attitude that I'm taking. <clears throat> but more to the point is how difficult it's been to get to this place. I'm amazed how many cisgender, cisgender women have an attitude towards transgender women. There is a woman who lives in town where I live. And I met her through um, a dating site. And we both agreed pretty much right away that we really weren't meant for each other. And for a while, we were became pretty good friends. But one of the things she said to me once when I was at her house at cocktail hour was that I wasn't a real woman and that my energy was that of a man's, which I took offense to because I, I totally thought she was wrong. But that, I think that was part of her problem with possibly ever even considering dating with me is that she does not consider me to be a real woman. And I think that's very true of, of cisgender lesbians in general. They just, they don't like trans women for the most part, which I find sad because I, I, I don't agree with that. Not at all. So, um, you know, it, it's, it's, it hasn't been a fun ride getting to this point at all. And um, I wasn't expecting it to be that. I knew it wasn't going to be easy. I really did. I knew for sure that this was going to be difficult at best. But I didn't think it was going to be as difficult as it's turned out to be. And again, I'm not complaining. This isn't a pity party video at all. I'm just explaining the path that I've been down and how I see it and where it's gone for me. So I guess <clears throat> I'm going to end this with, I'm curious. For those of you who are transgender and have gone through your transition, have you had as difficult a road as I see it in trying to date? Um, be interested to hear feedback from people on that one um, because I, I don't know if, the, if mine is typical or not. Um, be interesting to find that out. All right, I'm going to make this short and sweet today. Um, I just wanted to throw that out there. Maybe, you know, we'll start a conversation from this. Um, give me your feedback on that. Is dating difficult for you as a transgender person? And um, if there's others out there, maybe some cisgender uh, lesbians that want to give me feedback as well, open to any feedback whatsoever. Again, it's just my thoughts on this, and I'm not speaking for anybody but myself when I, when I uh, express my opinions here. Okay, well, this has been interesting. I hope you enjoyed this one. Um, like and subscribe if you haven't already. And um, send in ideas for future videos if you like, and I'll try to accommodate them. And I uh, know that you can find us on Facebook at My Transgender Nation. You can find us on the web mytransgendernation.com, obviously here on YouTube. And I look forward to talking to you again soon. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a great day. Bye-bye.